Hey, you're up. This is you. Ding. Bad weather, hungry kids, primitive farming, and ugh, England in the distance. This is us. Ding. Cool president, super rich, awesome factories. Or should I say, this is us. A. That's right. The United States of America is opening its doors to lucky potential immigrants like you. Let me walk you through your arrival in America. First, you'll arrive at either Ellis or Angel Island, or should I say, Asian Island, to go through inspection to make sure you don't suck. The locals will probably be upset or feel threatened by your arrival. But they were immigrants once too, so don't worry about them. It's not like they passed an anti-Chinese exclusion act agreement or any... Wait, hang on, no, I'm getting word that they did. Luckily, you're not Chinese. Or Japanese, but thanks to the Gentleman's Agreement, you only have to worry about talented Japanese taking your jobs. Next, you'll move into a tenement, which you'll share with one or two or maybe even up to four other families. What a bonding opportunity! All of you together ought to be able to clean up that pigsty together. After you're all settled in, you and your family, including your littlest, will get low-paying jobs at our super cool factories! Hope your entire homestead is made up of adult men, because children and women have lower wages. Don't worry, though, because with the formation of unions, the AFL, frequent strikes, and Rockefeller's gospel of wealth, you'll probably just so happen to be one of those people who magically becomes rich and famous through the power of America, just like Carnegie and Edison. Worried about black people ruining your fun? Thanks to Plessy vs. Ferguson and the new Jim Crow laws, we don't have to be. Segregation has solved all of our problems. Just don't get wrapped up in sharecropping, or you'll never have money again. America is working hard to make us all the big melting pot you have always wanted it to be by not allowing you to have your own culture at all. In fact, we love assimilation so much, we've even started a war with the Indians over the Dawes Act. So while you're living the good life, we'll be fighting for your right to be just like everybody else. With today's American government being waist-deep in corruption, gold, and giving people immense power as favors to friends, there's no need to worry about any kind of competent, tyrannical king ever being able to rise to power. And with the Pendleton Act, the only thing standing in your way of becoming the mayor, or even the president, aside from your race and heritage and culture, is a single test! So move to America today for the second coming of the Industrial Revolution. Mexicans need not apply.